Uh, King Harlan then has arrived at Manchester City, very much looking at home on his throne. Now, speaking of royalty, uh, Jan, maybe it's best for you to explain what, exactly what's going on in these pictures we're about to show you. Well, yes, this is the day he was the king of Manchester City. We took him, and with the team Haaland, we took him to the Crown Prince family, and we played a game, and it was fantastic. One princess, one prince, Crown Prince and Crown Princess. And this is the seventh time we're doing that together with the royal family. And we're doing a, it's a charity game for, uh, for children with learning difficulties. And fantastic. This was the day after he scored two goals against Sweden. And the girl who's doing the selfie there is our crown princess. And more or less, the all team Haaland and the whole family as well. His dad played. Alfie Holland played Craig, so you can imagine there was, uh, there was intensity in the game and we also had uh, Graham Hansen from our women's team, so fantastic uh, thing that we do. Uh, we've done this for in the seventh time we've done it and Erling was on fire, but he couldn't score, so we, we lost 10-9. Which was terrible. Couldn't score. Uh, uh, he's, 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 the pressure. The pressure's set, got to him already. City have <laughs> yeah, signed yeah. a dud. Do you know the one thing uh, I, could, I, I was looking at in that picture, Jan? And I'm hoping that you were uh, leaning over a little bit because Erling Haaland looked as if he was about eight inches taller yeah. than you. <laughs> and you're not the smallest guy. No, I'm leaning over a bit. It's because I didn't want them to show my my proper body, so I tried to come over. I see. What you is this one? Is this yeah. one, Luke? Yes. No, <laughs> I'm leaning a bit over. But, oh, but there you uh, go. God. And Jan, how come but, you were but, playing in goal? Because he, yes, he can't that, play on side. Uh, exactly, that is because my right knee told me, Jan, don't play outside. We're playing on... On, on sand, we're playing at the oh residence goodness. of the royal family, and we're just playing in the entrance where the cars what are coming was, in. What happened was, what happened was, they saw some video of Jan at Middlesbrough and Swindon <laughs> right. playing up front. And yeah. I said, oh no, 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 that's all right. <laughs> we'll, 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 get, get him in. We'll, we'll stick you in goal. Jan, it's the first time actually you've been on since Erling Haaland. No, not time for Manchester City. Matched your record of goals at international level. I wonder if that was something yeah. maybe you brought up and just said, hey, hold your horses now. 20 is enough. It is enough. And you've seen some good strikers there. And you see Jürgen Juve. He's from the 30s. And uh, obviously not alive anymore, but he would have been afraid because you just know that Erling Haaland... I was wondering, would he take it in this game against Sweden? Uh, my, my son tweeted, Jan, you're on the same... Dad, you're on the same level. Yeah, but not for many minutes. Uh, yeah. He will break all the records, uh, Erling Haaland. Uh, the four games he played, now talking about tired players, we talked about his injury that he had this season. He was on fire. I saw two of them live. I saw the whole four games, uh, of course. He was out. He was so yeah. good in these games, and especially against Sweden, he was on fire, fire. Yeah, and I, I can only imagine if we had an English striker or a Scottish striker... Well, who was at this level? The problem. Like, well, the, well, well, go on, Dylan. Go on. No, go on. No, 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 no go on. If your points oh, you more finished. important. No, if your you points finished. more important. It's clearly going to be some marvellous. No, I just. Like, so you, if we, an Eng England have got a strike like that. It's no, they Harry don't. Kane. No, Harry it's Kane. not. Harry Kane is. No, 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 Harry Kane. Shut is... up. Harry Kane is a world-class striker. Yes but, or no? Who would I prefer in my team? Erling Haaland. Okay. But, but, you know, at one point, we were talking about Lewandowski and Kane. Right. Can, can we get to my point? Well, please. Like, in my gen generation, like, maybe you, Michael Owen is an argument. Scotland, no, not really. Wait, to wait. have someone of that level. Hold on, one hold of the, on, one hold, of the best. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask Jan, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> yeah. Michael Owen, Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer was never in a conversation as one of the best players in the world. This is where I'm going with this. Was he? Shearer was one of the best strikers on the planet. But was he one of the best players in the world? And then we go to Scotland over the years, where there's some of the greatest right. strikers. Hey, right, shut so your point, here's the point as I knew here's the point, it was just going to be Here's stupid. the point that I'm trying to make, Jan. You make the, excite stupid. the excitement around not only football fans, but I imagine Norwegians as a whole, to have someone like Erling Haaland, the best in his game, as one of them, must be exceptional at the moment. 
Yeah, because it's. Uh, I will. I will come back to your point, for Craig. Because I, I, I remember Kenny Dalglish. He was a good striker for England, uh, Scotland. I'm I'm trying. Try, I was trying to no, save him, man. I was trying. I, 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 on regardless. Craig, yeah, Craig. I, I will come back to that. But yeah. I, I want you to put it in a perspective how it is here in Norway. Because in the stadium now, we we can only get in twenty six thousand again at Ullevall. We beat Sweden away. We we. I don't. And then we play Sweden at home, and Sweden said, "Yeah, with so many injuries, they had one." center half that was injured and they start making excuses and then we go into the stadium i mean even i got three kids and even my two girls wanted to go to the stadium and that that is an achievement uh, although my youngest said oh I'm, I'm so excited to go to the game who are we playing that is another story but listen I, when i went <laughs> to this stadium today what Erling Haaland and also martin erdogan being a captain he's 23 now and i got 44 or 45 caps he will also beat some some records but Erling Haaland they could have sold that they could have sold 60 70 and we we are a ski nation but we are also only five five million people here and and this week we had a guy in the in, in paris in the final at tennis we have victor hovland we have erling Haaland, and when we see him now being a world-class player going to his dad's club and by the way uh, yesterday was 22 years since his dad signed for manchester city and so on and so on so I interviewed the guys after the game we had yesterday and I said, I'm standing here with two crown princes. One who will, go, who will get Norway and the other one will, will go after his dad at Manchester City. So it's all about Erling Haaland now and the way the treatment or, or the attitude he had on these national games was unbelievable. I mean, then he can go with private jet or he can do with pyjamas. He, he can do whatever he wants as long as he scores goals for 20 goals in 21 games or something. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.